Valentine's Day from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Well, sadly, it is our last port of call here in Puerto Vallarta. As you can see, the pool deck is empty, which means that people are out and about enjoying the sights. Let's go do the same. It looks like the Carnival Panorama has beat us here, and we are the only two ships in port. So it should be a fantastic day. As soon as we exited the port, the first thing that we were able to see was lots and lots of vendors that were outside selling everything from excursions to clothes to souvenirs. I mean, I don't know if this is how it is all the time, but the day that we were there, there were lots of different things that you could see and do. Check out this guy, how creative. And check this out. There's even a mall across the street. Well, even though it felt like it was 100 degrees outside, that gentleman was determined to try and sell those shirts. Well, we were trying to look for taxi cabs and how do we navigate to get to our final destination where our group was? What well, we discovered that you had to leave this area of the port and go out to the main road and that's where the taxi cabs were that were for the public to take you places. But once we made it to the taxi cabs, look how beautiful Puerto Vallarta is. I mean, this was our first opportunity being here and it did not disappoint. It did look like the typical tourist areas, but it was absolutely gorgeous. Everything was immaculate. The people were friendly. I give this a 10 out of 10. Once Luis dropped us off, we were at our destination, the El Dorado. Keep in mind, it was Valentine's Day and they did not disappoint. But even here on the beach, people were selling some of everything. I mean, creative, but check this out. Wow. Okay, so I'm not really sure how to explain this, but this guy was actually selling this. I mean, it was Valentine's Day. Yes, the large. Don't do them no thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is exactly what you think it is. Different sizes, shapes, and colors. Thank you. And just when you're in the mood, then here they come, breaking up the mood. I mean, I don't know what they were doing. They were just walking through, but I can guarantee you this is just something you will not see every day in the United States. Not like this. We definitely had a fantastic time. And before heading back to the ship, we decided to walk over to this pier shaped like a sailboat and take a look at the sights that were to be seen from over there. Puerto Vallarta is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. If you're liking this video so far, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more vlogs like this.
Now the port is so beautiful. When heading back, it is absolutely imperative that you read these signs because you will get lost. You will be looking around, you'll be shopping, and you won't even realize how to get back to the ships because you didn't come out this way. So remember, pay attention to the signs. Once you reach this point, you know that you are headed in the right direction to the ships. You could even see the ships in the background. But before you get to the ships, they gotta get you to shop at least one more time for those souvenirs, that alcohol, that medicine, whatever it is that they have to offer, they're gonna have you walk through one more time before you make it to where you catch your ship. Once you see this area, you are out of the shopping X section and you will see these amazing views of the ships. Great places to take photos of yourself, of your family and your friends, or take pictures just of the ship alone. I know I did. Now keep in mind, this area that you're coming out of looks totally, totally different than how you exited the port. So yes, you will have to take the shuttle or you can walk but why walk when you have this shuttle available? It was free and it was convenient. We were now back on the ship and this was waiting for us. Happy Valentine's Day cake. And at some point they did cut it and serve it to the guests, but we were headed to dinner at Chop's restaurant. It was a nice vibe. It was early in the evening. They had decorated it with balloons and things of the sort. And it was a great dinner for sure. While we were waiting on our food, we got an interesting surprise. It never ever occurred to me that while we were sailing in the Pacific that I would see whales. But while at dinner, we got just that, a pod of whales swimming right next to us as we were sailing out of Puerto Vallarta. Well, just after that, dinner arrived. And I promise you all, it did not disappoint. Every time we go to Chop's restaurant on the Royal Caribbean ships, which is their steakhouse, it does not disappoint. And the dessert was right on point too. Check it out. Immediately after dinner, we decided to take a few pictures and check out the entertainment around the ship. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> well, I'm not one for ice skating, but if you desire to do that, Studio B is the place to do it at. They open up times where you can go as a layperson and just try your hand at ice skating. Well, here's something you don't see every day. We ran into our cruise director filming a live video right in the middle of the ship. He's got on around the ship for you to make sure your last day is filled with fun activities. Started at 9 a.m. on the promenade. Is your dance fitness class? So come on down and join us for a workout in the morning. Wake your body up, your mind, spirit, and soul. 9 a.m. on the promenade for your dance fitness. Today, we also had an appointment at the Royal Escape Room, which of course they don't let you video, but you should know we got out. Our group hosted a comedy show. I went to the Lovers and Friends Valentine's Ball. Yeah, I was cute. And then it was time to turn in for the night. Thanks for watching and happy sailing.